Hey everyone, Wanbot here, and welcome to Return to Abyss, another bullet heaven that I saw that has uh, actually kind of sweet looking artwork, I guess more of a plot, so how am I here? You know, it must be they're doing, those gods who abandon the world. Alright, unknown god, I, I accept your kindness, but it'd be better if you, if you could battle in person. Come on, demons, the game isn't over yet. This time, I'm here to play it till the end. Or play till the end. Okay, cool. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, otherwise, apart from the potential story bits, it seems to be a pretty standard bullet heaven. Maybe with more projectiles? We'll see. I originally held off on this one because I wasn't sure if it was translated or not. Uh, but I saw some more screenshots and I'm like, yeah, as far as I can tell, it's, yeah, I mean, it's translated. It's question. Main question is, how translated? The answer is, heck if I know. Okay. After collecting enough chaos, you can upgrade and select one of the supports. Uh, you can upgrade, yeah. Accessories can strengthen the current weapon and make it more lethal. Blessings can strengthen heroes and bestow them with various effects. Normally each weapon can equip six accessories and three blessings at once. I see, so we're kind of limited. So holy light count up by 100% of base value, scatter threefold small holy, threefold small holy light in a fan shape, incompatible with aggression. In movement, dodging rate of one, or extra... Uh, let's see, why don't we go with the second holy light? Oh, I was kind of hoping they'd move independently of each other. Instead of, now we just have two. It's fine. But there's a lot of enemies. Okay. So, even more. I think the... I wonder if I could check. Detail. Mm, fold. Because I could do the fan. I could do speed up or EXP from everything up. I'm going to try the scattering lens. Let's see if I can get both of these. Okay. I think the lens is better. At least for my purposes. My question is, do I still have both of these? Holy light splits into two ones or extra damage. Oh, we'll not work on red artifacts. I don't know what a red artifact is. I'm sure I'll learn. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Holy light duration up or size up. Let's go size. Get big. Because it seems to pierce through things and do damage multiple times. Ooh. Actually, maybe the duration would have actually been really good. And yeah, some pickup radius probably would have been good. Extra size, extra duration. Ah, let's keep going size. My main question is, I know there's an upper limit. How quickly do I hit that upper limit? How long am I even here for? I I don't know. Because, yeah, it looks like I've got six upgrades on this already. I wonder if we get another one. Or Holy Light Up. Let's go for extra duration. So does that just mean I get to hold on to them longer? Do they have longer range? I don't know. I Unfortunately, it's going to boil down to... Translation gets kind of funky. Uh, I'm gonna take those sound effects down. I don't really like hearing dinka 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 constantly, constantly. And honestly, monster injury effect. Oh, that's probably a visual effect. Okay, confirm and hero attribute. Formal, former archangel. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so extra exp. Uh, yeah, let's go for the exp for the time being, and then I'll go for the pickup radius. Yeah, because we seem to have maxed out my weapon. Now, we might get another weapon? Is that... That's probably the point. We've also got whatever this is. Kill enemies fast to build frenzy. When energy reaches its peak, the hero will be in a frenzy state. Damage and attack frequency will be higher. Okay. EXP. I'm gonna go for the pickup radius. Just because all of this EXP is meaningless if I can't actually grab it. Okay, speed, pick up, EXP. Let's keep going, pick up radius. Okay, so is this a new weapon? Probably. When you have less than four weapons, you can gain new ones from chests. You can have up to four weapons. Choose one of the three. Okay, so tornado in the facing direction. Uh, it's just a gas can. Fuel produced by night cell. It can reach super high heat value and burn extremely strong. Or illuminate the surroundings and attack enemies. 
The fire is tempting. Let's see what the fire does. Because I think I know what the other two do. We also get some coin bags. Okay, so fire just stays behind me. Defense up by 1% for every HP lost. Flame count up. Or... Let's see. Kind of refresh. All flames become one, incompatible with scattering. I don't know what that means necessarily. Ooh, there's a magnet up here though. Good to know that those exist. Flame duration up. Well, that's pretty big. Damage count. Or roar to repel surrounding enemies. I don't know if we actually care about the roar. Okay, get one deceleration web. Flame splits. Yeah, I'll just go for the flame. I don't actually know if the... I see, so it burns, and then it's... Got it. That did actually take some damage. Flame size? Yeah. I probably should have done more duration. Do we have another weapon? Lock on and shock the nearest enemy. Firefly or hand cannon? Uh, let's go to the arc generator. We kill most enemies, but a couple... Having something to just kind of zap out anything... Oh no, the lightning. I see, the lightning has extremely short range. Okay, so let's grab the firefly, see what that does. Okay, and we get a bunch more gold. So now we have too many weapons. Uh, flame duration up, sure. Well, the lances are pretty good. So now I've got my four weapons. I wonder what the... I mean, I guess this run's probably going to end beforehand. Flame splits into two. Uh, mm, go expanded slot. I want to see. Because this is going to give me two fires that then split further. Probably. I got to stop running into enemies. I keep assuming that they're dead, and then they're not. So the fireflies just seem to kind of come out from me and home in on whoever. Enemy generating speed down. Max HP up. Eh, I can do better than this. I'm just going to go for the pickup radius, even though I know we've got a magnet here. Wow. Okay, there it goes. Took it a little bit. Regain one point of HP every second. I was, like, actually afraid. It, it did seem to be nuking my encoding. Okay, so we get a new treasure chest. What does this one do? New character? Evil Banisher. Beams of holy light bombard and clear an area. Remaking is related to the color of the weapon's equipped blessing. When having three blessings of the same color, you can remake the weapon into a specialized artifact. Oh. Evil Banisher. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, okay. So apart from the fact that the mag magnet legs lags the game out to no end, uh, that's absurd. Unfortunately, my, uh, fuel gas can ain't going to, uh, evolve in the same way. Good to know, though. That is ridiculous. Okay, what else do we got? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep giving myself the regen just because. Well, it's nice to know how the evolution system works almost immediately. I'm not seeing anything particularly, like, super fancy about this, but I like... Oh, well, time for another lag spike. Or, no. Not that time. So, electrical damage or arc counts. What I want is... Size. Uh, let's go for the firefly count. I don't know if duration really matters. Size, no damage. Oh, we've got another chest up here. But I... I don't even know what this one's going to do. Blasting oil. Engine roars and sputters scalding backwards. When accessories and blessings are fully upgraded and you have four weapons, a weapon can evolve into a powerful artifact when you open another chest. Blasting oil. 
Oh. Uh, okay. Well, rip that group of enemies. They thought they were so cool. And now they're gone. So am I just going until I die? Is that is that the entire point of this? I suppose it is. We'll get another one of these. Uh, let's see. Electrified enemies conduct electricity around them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Electric arc size. The main thing is just the electric arc is... The AoE for it is so small. It's kind of non-functional for me. I, that fan is absurd. I'm just a little limited based on how slowly it comes out. Arc range up, and it's green. Worth it. But I'll have to keep an eye out. Okay, count or damage? Uh, let's keep going damage. Range again. Oh, that's better. Yeah, because now it can actually do something to people. Though compared to my, uh, murder fan, it's kind of nothing. Okay, there's a fan here. Fireflies call it, cause explosions? Sure. Uh, it's electric arc damage up by 50%. Yeah. I just want it to more or less shred anything that gets even remotely close to me. Also, the fire got kind of big. Okay, and we have a demon boss. Let's see what we got on the hell gift first. Uh, Hero's Relic. Firefly speed up by 50%. I'm confirming it. Maybe we got two of them. That's entirely possible. Oh, and this guy. This guy's chunky. So I'll keep that in mind. Okay, Firefly split, yeah. Okay, deceleration, web, eh, don't care too much. I don't really care, I guess I'll grab the defense. I don't think I'm gonna be taking too much damage, but you never know. Right, and this guy's, this guy's getting zapped. So I can just kinda hang out. Luckily he's, his entire uh, modus operandi seems to be oop, out. Oh, good! The coffee actually heals me. I'm trapped on the other uh, on the other side of this barricade. Oh, and is that it? Are we at the end? We are. So we get gold and influence. We also get coins and lava beer. So you know, we're starting to go down this one, hero, and then we don't have anything on attendant. All right. Well, that's unsettling to look at. Missions. So, daily achievement statistics. So, I'm certainly feeling a little bit more mobile game out of this one. Ah, I know you. Cripes. All the guests here are talking about you. We've got a heroic spirit. That's what they said. It's a terrific title. Oh, right. I'm Philly the Waitress and a trainee for now. How can I help you? I heard if you put the mysterious substance found in abysses into the shaker to mix, there will be a wonderful chemical reaction. I need to reach the KPI of selling drink. And you need strong power. It means we have the same interest, so please remember to come to me for orders. Okay, so we can get drink. Use materials to mix drinks. We enter the abysses after having a drink. There will be some changes in game rules. Last until the round end. Drink takes two materials at least, and three at most. Drink effects are usually random, but the ones made from specific materials tend to have fixed effects and are very powerful. We can have two drinks at a time. So we have a pair of... Lava beer. Oh, we've got a gold hurricane. Extra weapon damage and enemies are faster. Sure. I can work with that. Alright, so what else do we have? This man. Is that the new angel girl? Now that you're here, just take the bar as your home. This is the supply table of weapons. I'm in charge of the permissions to equipments and blessings. You can call me Carl. I like it how it's Carl here, but Carl, Carl with the K here, Carl with the C down here. I'm confused as a fellow Carl. Uh, during the battle, the supply sector will offer support according to your quest progress. 
but the available supplies are limited. To unlock more permissions, you need to meet certain requirements or spend gold coins on them. In addition, you can also decide supplies you want to obtain in battles with permissions. When you need them, come to me. Of course, you're always welcomed here if you want to chat. Alright, so we got weapons. Check or buy weapons, manage weapons, evolving paths, artifacts here. Artifact men- oops. Oh yeah, no, that was fine. Artifact menu is for checking various artifacts. Uh, artifacts of the weapon, enabling, enabling or disabling them. Blessings, yeah, this is very much machine translated. Uh, blessings of the disabled artifacts are unavailable in the game. Accessory menu is for checking and buying weapon accessories. And so we can actually turn the ones on and off that we don't want. So we actually have quite a bunch of different weapons here. So this is probably the mix. Like if you just mix everything together um, and you don't care about the color, this is all red, this is all blue, this is all green. Yeah, that seems to be pretty much the case, hence why this one's all blue. Um, and we're starting to go down this direction. It doesn't look like we have too many. And to unlock the rusty sickle, we need to get Zelda. And Asia. Fair enough. And then we can also, here, let's just go back to our basic weapon. Can I do anything? So I can spend 2,000 gold to reduce the interval down. Ooh. Hurt interval down. Fire interval. But I need to do an exorcism, so I'm almost not going to think about any of these at the moment. Later, maybe, but not right now. Okay, so we can also buy various materials for making drank. But I do not care. We also have this statue out here, but I'll get to that in a hot second. We've actually got a couple things. Welcome to the chaotic space. I'm Sebastian, the gazer. Your liaison and butler of the of Abyss Bar. I'm at your service. I'm in charge of managing your resume and evaluating your hero influence. Apart from that, I'll help you contact, uh, con contact with other heroes if you're in need. I'll always be here for you. Please be my guest then. Alright, so what does he have? So, unlock... Check or unlock heroes here. Uh, Upgrade influence levels to unlock their stories and attributes. They have different initial attributes and weapons, and switch interfaces. Cool. So we have... Uh... I... <laughs> oh. Hidden story unlocked. Yeah, look... Wow, there's a lot of characters. Uh... And a lot of things, but I'm just shy. I have... I'm missing... I need just a little bit more gold. I don't know what collection is, and we've got this statue outside, so let's go take a look at that, and then I guess do a mission, and... I mean, luckily, this is pretty quick, so we can probably do a couple runs. Spend coins to get brands, and enhance all the heroes. Three god statues represent different paths of enhancement, god blessings... It... Velsigna? Is in charge of blessings, she can help you survive longer. Uh, Utsir... U Uts... Utsir? Yeah, Utsir. Is in charge of technique, strengthen your weapons, and Ordo, god of order, har, is in charge of order, har. To some extent, he can make the game rules more favorable to you. So, extra refresh time, some other stuff. So, how much does do these cost? Uh, a lot. Okay, that's not as much. So, I might actually want to just grab cell vitality. Just one point, and it gives me enough regen that we don't need to worry. So extra damage, repelling distance increase, so that's knockback, I, I'm assuming. Kind of pricey, though. Reloading, ammo speed, ammo sizes. I don't I don't know if ammo counts for just all attacks or just certain gun weapons. Because that seems to be pretty heavy gun only. Eh, I'm just going to not. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Can I pick a mission? No. Alright, I guess it's time to dive into the tentacle horror. Whee! Choose an abyss. Well, I have no choice but to go back to Hell's Surface. And speed up, complete nightmare mode to unlock. Nightmare requires things. Cool. Maybe the next run's gonna be a little longer. Because I want to mess around with some weapons. I only evolved two of them. I think I'll stay away from the fire next time, though. It was okay. Come on, come at me. I am bored. I wish to fight. But yeah, the different power-ups and how they play together could actually get kind of fun. I mean, last time we had like a, a wild fan of destruction and it was super satisfying. 
But who knows? Maybe the next one's going to be different. So extra... What's the repelling distance? That's probably knockback. I don't know if I care. Just go size. The count was good too, but I'd rather go for the fan split a couple of times. If I can. We might not get so lucky. We only get six upgrades for this thing. And so we're a little limited in what we can do. Okay. Because, yeah, if I could do, like, a... Uh, I don't know if I want to do the fan spread. I think I want to just do fan spread and, uh... Size. Just go even bigger than last time. So this is going to be red. I, oh... Why don't we go for blue? Because I did red, red last time. Did I? No, I did blue last time. So we haven't seen what the red variant looks like. Okay. I'm almost wondering if it doesn't matter. Count up. Holy light damage up. Refresh. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with the split. Oh, now it actually fires off. Okay. Let's pop this open. Uh, I'm gonna try the, uh... I like the arc generator. I'd like to try the gun. But the hand generator, or the lightning generator, seems like a... Like it's actually the solution to an amount of my problems. Just because. Repelling distance counts up. So now I believe this will shock two things simultaneously. We just need to give it a bigger AoE. Grab the magnet. Uh, Holy Light splits again. Oh, that's what it does. I mean, it's interesting. I would like to hopefully get the fan or something. Uh, let's see, electric size. All electric arcs become one. What is a deceleration web? Oh! So the deceleration web slows enemies down in my immediate vicinity. That's actually really good. Well, the music uh, got kind of hard. Like, almost immediately. Ow. I guess we're kind of in boss territory, so go figure. Well, this already feels a little bit more interesting than the last run. The enemies actually are dangerous. I guess it kind of makes sense. Why wreck a player on the tutorial? Unless they're, like, so totally new that they can't deal with it. This is threefold small electric arc in all directions. Or arc size up. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it seems okay. I think the big issue is we need AoE on this electric arc, or it's kind of meaningless. Okay, oh, the skeletons were defending the money. I'm wondering about that. Okay. I'm not quite strong enough to deal with these guys, but we have a little bit of natural HP regen. Now, size is probably not the same as range, which is a little unfortunate. Yeah. I think we're picking kind of mediocre upgrades here. Boy, that deceleration web is absurd. Okay, let's get our next weapon. Uh, Firefly, Wildfire, or... Get the Wind Wand. Yeah, so it looks like the skeletons actually just defend money pockets around. I'm seeing a couple of them. Uh, yeah, I'll just go with the size. Oh, that wind wand is going to have annoying sound effects.
Yeah, nice part is I can actually zap the entire group of dags as they spawn. How much money have I earned? Not quite enough. Okay. Well, I'm not appreciating these sound effects, so I'm just going to turn them off. It is not a WanderBot video without me uh, reducing or turning down the sounds. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the last the last build got what I was looking for. Uh, let's see. Holy Light. Get another red. That's a... Uh... Oh, the lightning actually works really well. Oh, we've got a mid-boss here. Whenever the uh, dog, dog storm hits... I'm immediately able to just rip through the entire group, which is kind of nice. Okay, defense up, picking up, pick up radius. I'm gonna go for the pickup radius. I know magnets show up every once in a while, but still. Okay, this guy needs to stop existing. There we go. Do we get an evolution or do we get a new thing? Let's try the hand cannon. What I need though is evolutions. Oh, that's what the hand, ga hand cannon do. Uh, it's okay. Okay, we get some coffee here. Do not run in the lava. Lava hurt. These dudes have a lot of money. Grab the magnet. Oh, we just robbed the Skeleton. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but that's fine. Let's go for the extra. Let's go for the extra EXP gain, just because. It's feeling a little slow to me, though I'm not actually... I'm never sure if that's worth it. It depends on the game. Because sometimes going for, like, a lot of EXP ups is worth it. I'm thinking, um... I'm kind of thinking Rogue Genesia, which now I'm thinking, oh boy, I should go back and play some Rogue Genesia at some point. Look at a mid-boss somewhere in this mess. Okay, here is... Some of these might be good. Uh, let's go for electric... Electrified enemies. Spread it to nearby enemies. Oh, is it the, uh, Skeleton? He looks kind of mid-bossy. Yeah, he was tough. Alright, what do we get? Uh, shrapnel repelling distance increased. And we get some money. So it looks like we just get, uh random accessories for things that we already have. Ow. I'm definitely getting mulched. The fact that my uh, main weapon hasn't evolved yet and doesn't have anything particularly exciting, going for it build-wise is a bit of a downer. Also, it turns out the fire, actually really good. I should have, uh, should not have just passed over on it. Because yeah, I have a ton of enemies chasing me, and since my build is weak enough, uh, they're just able to uh, keep up with me. I'm sure, it'll be fine. I just what I need is bigger range on my electric. Because if that could actually just be constantly touching these guys, I'd be in a good position. As it stands, I can't. Okay. Cannon. Oh. 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 That's how this works. That's how the colors work. I understand now. I guess we're doing another blue sword. Oopsie. Okay. Tornado duration. Tornado speed. Will not work on green artifacts. Get something else though. Shrapnel size? Yeah. The duration might have actually been a really good idea, but it's fine. Oh. Okay. Uh that's a repelling distance though. Tornado 
tornado speed up. Let's do a tornado count. And won't work on the green. So I gotta keep that in mind. But luckily, the lightning does a very good job of clearing the uh, skeleton. I just am in the very super unfortunate position of don't have enough range to really capitalize on that. Wow, oh, look at that money hoard. I mean, no matter what happens, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, arc range? Arc range. Not work on green artifacts. Shoot. Well, we get this again. So I want to take a look at what this does. Now that now that I actually understand how this works. How big a oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> that is the stupidest looking thing. <laughs> just absolutely. Here is just the beam of swords. Oh, that lightning upgrade though. I think we'll just uh, try and do a mixed upgrade for the lightning, just because. Okay. Tornado turns into a small tornado. Let's just not pick up any more green. Light lightning stuck with it, which oops, but whatever. Long term, it's worth it. We kind of needed that. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Okay. Shrapnel count up by 100% of base value. Yeah. Okay, I guess we got a hell gift from that. Uh, tornado damage up. And some more. I mean, we're holding on. I'm really hoping for is a magnet to show up at some point. Okay, so the arc generator. It's arc size. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to go all in on green anyway. I was going to go for a mix. I guess I guess I could actually get a non-green for it. That is the other option. Just get the last one to be non-green and then it'll just be the pure evolution. Okay. Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? Because signal broadcast doesn't work on green. Oh, there's our there's a magnet. Lucky me. The immediate problem is it's kind of weak, and I'm dying. Ugh. I gotta, I gotta rely on my murder beam. Okay, so why don't we grab chaos vessel? Because now it will potentially evolve into something halfway decent. Okay, and I can't do anything else. But to some degree, what I have to do now is just whenever I fire off the uh, murder sword beam, I have to run in, in that direction. Because it, it is 100% just going to clear everything for me. The lightning's actually going to do a good job. Uh, let's see, shrapnel direct. Nah. Tornado splits, tornado, tornado size. That kind of works, kind of didn't work. Ooh, look at all that gold I've somehow managed to kind of generate. Ow. Okay, I'm just hoping that the sword beam actually hits into the midst of this crowd. Unfortunately, it doesn't really feel like it. There. Kind of was. Okay. So wind. Turns into four small tornadoes. It will not work on green. I'm, I'm just going to keep getting those upgrades, and then we'll get the green fairly shortly. They're good for softening people up. Maybe not the greatest on their own, but it's fine. Come on, sword beam. Actually, go straight up. Why would you go that direction? There's nothing there. Uh, 
Okay. Keep cycling. So we cannot go green. Four small tornado. Or splits further. I think I'm going to do another split. Because, yeah, that just shocks a bunch of tornadoes around. Oop. I guess anger mode started. Okay, so let's cycle. Uh, so we do not want to do green. So I guess let's go for the EXP game. Just for the sake of it. Okay, at least we're kind of killing our enemies. I was worried for a hot, hot moment, but we're kind of okay. All right, there we go. Grab a treasure chest. This should give us the... Okay, plasma lightning. High-powered arc deals a lot of damage along with lightning strikes. Cool. Hopefully that'll help. Ooh, big AoE too. Yes. Yes. Okay, switch back. Keep doing blue. Okay, uh, dodging rate of one point speed up by 1%, or stomp on the ground suddenly and dash forward. Cooldown lasts five seconds. Okay, so I have a dash now. I don't know how practical that is. I guess with the lightning field, it's actually pretty good. I like the, uh, I like the ability customization. Like, the fact that I picked the same evolution twice by accident while I was still figuring out what I was doing, um... But the fact that I ended up with a completely different style of ability, you know, going full sword beam, is kind of interesting. And I can use that with a dash, actually. Oh, I only have the gun. Uh, let's see. Trapnel causes explosions around. Does not work on purple. So purple is probably if you maybe have only red and blue. Well. Okay. Frost Cyclone. Icy Cyclone in the moving direction to freeze enemies. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Oh. Okay, so its range is kind of bad. Huh, never mind. Its initial range is kind of bad, but its actual functional range is really good. So I think... I'm going to try and get my shotgun to go full red if I can. I don't know what point we're actually going to run into the end boss here. Okay, so do we want to just go start stacking red? Yeah. Okay, I kind of dig those tor tornadoes. They're cool. And what's this one going to give me? Uh, shrapnel causes more explosions? Sure. Oh, maybe because I already had it? It gave me a different one? Probably. Shotgun's actually pretty good. Boy, I really desperately needed those evolutions. But at least I know how to get them. I was confused. I thought it was based on the um, the symbols in the top right of the accessories, not in the uh, character power-ups. I do think I will switch my music, so I'm listening to my own thing next time, though. This is uh, a little repetitive. And I'm also always perpetually uh, a smidge worried that it's going to be copyright claimed. You never know. Especially with, like, lower budget indie games, though. I mean, honestly, visually, this is actually a fair bit higher budget than most bullet heavens are. <laughs> oh, we got a magnet. Yes! The initial run was covered in mag magnets, and this one was not. Okay, some more of that. I was expecting a level a second time from that one. I guess this one drip feeds levels a little bit more compared to uh Oh, whatever that other one that I played the other day was. Reload. Okay, cool. Max health up. So now we've got the red gun. Now now all we need is just a mid boss to die. Or 
for me to level up? I'm actually not sure what happens at this point. Well, at least we got the mid-boss to show up. Wherever they are. I hear them. Oh, it's just the slug behind me. Sorry, it was only, like, marginally bigger. Okay. So, one thing I will say. I don't think the size on the Holy Swords is nearly as worthwhile as I was hoping for. Okay, so we get tier. That's kind of a neat design. Overcharge. With an energy storage module, it causes fatal penetrating damage after being charged. So what? The railgun? Oh, wait. What? Oh. Well, that's kind of fun. So what happens if I level at this point? Because I think all of my all of my abilities and upgrades are maxed out. Oh, support supply. Super armor impact. Extra HP. Automatically select. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the gold bag. I was hoping I'd still be able to get like some slight character upgrades or something like that. But it looks like we're just this way until the end. Which question mark when that's going to be? Hopefully it's like 20 minutes. It'd be pretty sad if this ends much, uh, much later than that. I always wish Vampire Survivors had had more... Well, it did, later on. But, at least initially, there was not a whole lot of evolutions. Uh, nor things to do with levels. So, like, after level 60? From, like, 60 to 100. You pretty much weren't earning anything. And it was just gold. Which, like, okay, gold is nice. But I just had a hard time caring. Alright. I'm just gonna... I almost could just kind of sit and wait. But I don't really want to. I guess what I should do is look for more Skelemen. Sitting on golden hordes. Wow. There's a, there's a lot of slugs. Uh, they're freaking out? I don't think visually this game can handle it. So what do we get for this? Just coin bag? Just coin bag. Dang. I don't know. Just some like little character upgrades would be kind of neat. It's more interesting than gold, I guess is the easiest way to describe what I'm feeling. Okay. I guess I'll just keep, keep grabbing. We'll be fine. I, boy. Yeah, they're like wiggling back and forth because I, I think they can't get at me because they all have kind of their own collision. Not much, but just enough. Ooh, is the money actually going up even faster? Because I think it was 50 up until now, but I think it's 75? Nope. The last one was 75. And I thought I would actually be able to fit in a second run here, but it looks like this is going to be kind of the the end of the video after this one. Would have been nice to try another character, but I might have to reserve that for like a later update. Luckily with these games, I can kind of just pick them up whenever I feel like it as just kind of like a bonus video. Because I like to do at least uh, some of these things, keep up with the cool games. Because yeah, we haven't even gotten any of the meta progression, we haven't messed with any of the evolutions, we haven't like forcibly changed the uh the pool for like potential upgrades i'm just gonna grab that i don't know what the super support thing is i'm assuming actually nothing fancy why is a magnet not one of those options i feel like a magnet would be kind of handy i might even just pick the automatic i'm just I need the money more than I need any kind of support and healing. I don't know. I, I don't trust games not to just screw me over by giving me the wrong thing. But, I mean, considering we're probably near the end, maybe I just pick automatic and see what happens. Let's do it. Otherwise, it keeps just slowing me down. Looks like it gives me money unless I'm maybe injured. 
Which, all of a sudden, this is ac that actually seems maybe a little bit more practical. There we go. Because, yikes. This is a lot of dudes. To the point where, oh, when my shotgun is firing out, that's what causes me to stop moving. <laughs> it actually has recoil. God Chaser, Demon Lord, uh, Samuel. Sam. Okay, so he's got 100,000 HP. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a smidge rough. Just happens a giant freaking meteor at me. Unfortunately, I kind of need my sword laser to point at him. Okay. It's absolutely filthy with enemies. I'm shockingly not dying. I would have ex- Oh, gosh. Wait. That didn't really hurt me that much. I leveled up there and it actually gave me money, despite being injured. So I guess the auto-select is just more money. Well. Uh, wait. <laughs> my shotgun knocked back the meteor. Oh, that's funny. Unfortunately, I am probably super dead. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this sucker. If, well, I don't know. I've already taken off a third of his HP and I'm not actually that much more injured. There's just a lot of enemies here. Oh, never mind. There I go. <laughs> uh, it's fine. At least we got a couple of missions completed. Oh, well, it's a lot of money for meta progression. Let's go over to this guy. I might as well pick up a new character. Oh, we've also got attributes. Uh, holy robe is. Oh, so as as my influence grows I guess with this character uh, we get extra size oh there's a lot actually and eh, no there's not there's just three levels each accessory makes light lance base damage up by some percent lava proof and extra size and then we can also buy the fallen angel uh, skin pack right that was the monetization scheme for this game just uh, a lot of skins so I guess if I get these two characters, I get their weapons. Maybe that's true of like all of them. I guess some of them start with things that... I've already seen. Uh, but I guess we might as well grab these two because they actually have new, new weapons for me. I guess do we just grab one at a time? Sure. So she's got... She's got tentacles. We'll, we'll just... Yeah, we're just gonna dive into a run for like a hot second. Just take it take a look Ammo counts up by 50% of base values. What does that mean? I'm assuming it's projectile size Ammo duration ammo fire intervals down. This is the one that I want the most 30% increased attack speed seems like it would be really nice. Maybe. So let's just see what this character does, and then we'll kind of take ourselves out of this game. It's charming. Uh, it certainly fits the bill for a pretty solid bullet heaven. I think the only media compla complaint I'd have is that uh, a lot of the core gameplay loop is kind of the same. You're just sitting around waiting for things to die, uh, which is something that I guess I've kind of done in pretty much every single bu bullet heaven that follows like the vampire survivor. Oh, these tentacles are actually really good. Drag enemies and halves their damage. Repelling distance. Movement speed, speed, size, lifesteal. I'm going to go for the lifesteal just because. I guess that's not much, but hopefully it just gets me one HP. Because I'd have to do a thousand damage just to get one HP here. Which is not great. Okay, fire interval down by 30, uh, 30%. Corrosion wax, though, might be good. But I want to go for the fire interval just for even more tentacles. Just get us very tentatively. All right, 
Well, one way or another, uh, Return to Abyss is available on Steam and it's been out for, gosh, a couple weeks, a couple months even. It doesn't work on green artifacts. Yeah, but tentacle count up. But tentacle damage up. I don't know if we need the count. Because, yeah, maybe I do go green on this one. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Going to end the episode shortly. Um, it's kind of charming. It a little bit more monetized than most, but that doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, considering it's a, I think it's a Korean-made product, and I think it's also on mobile, and so I'm assuming it's kind of got the skin pack for extra monetization. Luckily, I do not care at all. Like maybe okay if they had like a replace all characters with cool robots, uh, then I'd actually give it a. A chance, a shot, I'd actually think about it. Let's go for the Firefly speed. They're kind of slow. Yeah, that's... Actually, that's a lot of Fireflies. I didn't really respect them on the first run, but they're pretty good. Okay, let's get the Corrosion Wax. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but once you get to the harder enemies, it's probably real good. Anywho, uh, so I guess with all of this said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, I've got so many to show off. But with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Keep thinking about, do I pick up this magnet? And it's going to be like, actually a bu bunch of gold. Sick.